but it was the post-war development of a new aircraft, the jet, which mostly drove the development of synthetic lubricants. The first jet engines were flown during World War II by the Germans, and uh, those jet engines were using whatever conventional oils were available, uh, but it didn't take too long into the 1940s that we found out that conventional petroleum oils just didn't have the thermal stability to be able to withstand the high temperatures without breaking down in jet engines. High temperatures in the engine can oxidize the oil and thin it down. Synthetic lubricants can handle that much better than hydrocarbon oils can. Jet aircraft also fly at higher altitudes than piston planes. There, atmospheric pressure is lower, which causes petroleum lubricants to evaporate. Hydrocarbon lubricants have smaller molecules as part of the mixture, and these smaller molecules will evaporate away or boil away. Creating a highly flammable vapor. However, it was the cold weather benefits of synthetics that inspired one of the visionaries who brought these lubricants to motorists. In the mid-1960s, Lieutenant Colonel Albert Amatuzio, a jet fighter pilot, began experimenting with used synthetic turbine oil from his jet. He was flying in the northern climates where it's quite cold and knew that it worked in his airplanes. He decided to experiment with his cars and see if it would help them start in the cold winters of Minnesota. It did help, so he launched a business to exploit his research. And working with several chemical companies, he developed a history-making motor oil. In 1972, it became the first 100% synthetic car motor oil to be approved by the American Petroleum Institute. Synthetic motor oils excel in winter cold because they aren't hampered by harmful chemicals found in petroleum. There's just a lot of paraffin-type molecules that make wax uh, that occurs in nature, and it finds its way into crude oil. At cold temperatures, the paraffin hardens, hindering the flow of motor oil. From a cold start in, in wintertime, it can take as long as 20 minutes for the, for the oil to get to the working parts in the engine. In 20 minutes, you can have disastrous wear occur. Today, all of the major oil companies manufacture synthetic motor oils. Though they cost two to four times as much as petroleum products, synthetics now rate as one of the fastest growing segments of the oil industry.